Hey everybody, Akash Shinzi here with a quick little video on communication basics, particular focus on storytelling. Now, I started off not being too great of a storyteller. That didn't mean I didn't have super interesting experiences in life. I've had phenomenally amazing experiences in life that I've always wanted to share and like tell people about, but I didn't know how to do it. I was like, I always like, I'd be like, wow, that was such an amazing, incredible experience. I can't, I can't wait to tell anyone. And then it came to the moment where I was like, there was a friend that I wanted to tell them about it. And I don't know why I was just like, oh yeah, I like, I did this cool thing where I traveled and I was running around a city all by myself and it was absolutely pouring rain, the city of Venice. Um, and I ran into this, uh, into this like mask operator. And I told, uh, and even there, that was me doing like a very generous job about how I tell the story in the past. It would be more so like, yeah, I went to Venice and it was pouring rain. And as I was running through the streets, I ran into this mask like shop owner and he, um, he showed me all of these really cool masks. But to me, on the inside, I was like, I was absolutely sprinting through the streets of Venice as it was pouring cats and rain, cats and dogs. Like, I didn't know any street that I was going down. And as I'm like navigating through the streets, I just bump into this, um, uh, into this mask shop. And as I peer in, I'm like, whoa, what's going on in here? I start talking to the guy and, and it's like a, an owner of like a, a mask shop that's been there for decades. So as you can tell, there's a very distinct difference between the two stories that I told. Same story, but huge difference in the two. And so it's important to think through what is it exactly, what are the emotions that you want the person who is listening to you to feel? What is the what is the intention of your story? Um, wh why are you saying it? Why are you, why are you communicating? Um, if I were to, in this particular example, the whole story about the me running around in Venice, there is different emotions that you may have felt or that you may have been able to pick up that uh, were ongoing. One of these was the emotion of not knowing where you're going or kind of feeling lost. Um, we also had the emotion of excitement of uh, when, when I had peered into the um, into this mask um, shop. We had the emotion of kind of like a scaredness too or worry, if you will. So there was a few different emotions that were ongoing in that experience. While the same, while the words and, and the whole experience was the same, nonetheless. So, simply bringing some more attention to you, in terms of when you're telling stories, what are the parts of your stories that are like, wow, that's not boring, not that are really noteworthy for you, and it's noteworthy for you, you know, or important in terms of the communication that you need to get across to whomever is sitting across from you. This could be a client. Um, this could be a lover. It could be a family member. What are the points or the key points that you need to convey? Um, what, if it's information and you're trying to convey some knowledge, you're trying to transfer knowledge from one person to another, well, you want to accentuate the points of that are really, really key. How about you do this? I don't know, you tell me. I thought you were the communication expert. I'm just kidding around. You can tell. I mean, it's it's the way that you speak about things. It's not simply going through like saying, this is a really key important point and you should make sure that you know about it. It's like, this is an absolutely key point. You notice the difference in tone and tonality in the way you're communicating. There's a distinct difference as to if I speak like this and say this is a really key point versus this is a really key point. It, it's a world of a difference. Uh, I personally would listen to the guy, the second guy, who'd be like, okay, this is really important. Wait, let me get my notebook out. Let me get my pen out and start writing because this is like what I need to know. So it's, it's really, really important as you tell stories. Um, and we're always telling stories. It could be the story that you're telling to yourself even. What's the story that you're telling to yourself? Are you telling yourself that like, oh man, I just got off of this amazing hard work session where I was working till nine o'clock in the evening and it was just incredible. I was getting everything done. Things were flowing so well. Um, idea here, idea there, analysis there, analysis there, pulling it all together and then putting and packaging this up into an absolutely beautifully phenomenal product that I know exactly what I want to say to my, my client. Or 
Are you telling yourself the story of like, oh yeah, working till nine. It was just so, oh, I didn't want to do it at all. I was just stuck there. Uh, I couldn't do anything that I wanted to do. And as a result, I had to miss watching my baseball game that I love watching every night. Um, there's very different stories. Um, and these are really, really important. So what I leave you guys today is in terms of your storytelling, because we all tell stories, make sure that you communicate in a way that is more emphatic, that you start to bring more awareness to the emotions that were ongoing in your story itself. Um, and to be aware of what you really want to communicate to the other person on the other side. Um, and this other person may actually be you. So with this, I leave you on the notes of keep up, thrive, and stay sexy. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Shoot them in the comments. I'm always happy to continue sharing some stories.